everybody, Ariana again. Today I would like to talk about anxiety and depression. Um, hiding who you are all your life and not being able to express who you really are. Um, that really, really brings on the depression. I mean, everything is just so much extra work. And being around people, it's so much worse because you have to pretend. You have to pretend like you're somebody that you're not. And the anxiety goes along with it because, you know, the anxiety of, you know, if these people know, what are they thinking? Because you're already thinking it. Like, I wish I could be myself and all this. So it just makes everything worse. Um, depression. I've had depression for most of my life. And some days it's hard to get myself out of bed because it feels like I have weights on me, like I can't get up, like I can't face the day. And it's really, really hard. And people that don't really have to deal with it don't understand that. Um, you know, it's just like you don't want to ever just say, hey, it's just sadness, just get over it. You know, you don't want to do that to people because depression is a real bad, bad issue. And the anxiety that goes along with it. Um, I have a hard time being around, I would say, like a medium amount of people too large. Just because the fact that I like to be able to count, I guess you could say, people. Uh, and I always have to know where the exits are. So, the more people that there are, the less safe I feel. I think I'm getting a little bit better now since I've since I've got all of this out in the open and I don't have to hide anymore. I think I'm getting a little bit better. But either way, it's still really hard to deal with. Because now I have that um, part of me that's scared of who's going to be okay with it, who's not. And if somebody figures out that I am a transgender, if if they're not happy with it, are they gonna, you know, assault? Are they gonna... It, it, it's so many things that plays into it, and it's it's hard. It's terribly hard. Um, when somebody has depression, anxiety, they don't need another person trying to say that it's just easy to get over, or that it's not a real thing, or you know, just go on with your life, you know? It's, you need compassion. You need a fellow friend. You, you need somebody that, you know, is going to be there. Um, you need accountability from your people. And, you know, you can't always rely on that from some people. And that's what leads to trust issues. Um, I've had it very much where I have friends and the friends are because I didn't have any self-confidence growing up or anything like that because I was always beaten down. Um, it was, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know, why aren't you living up to this potential? Why? It's really depressing actually. <laughs> I don't even know why I want to talk about this. I thought I would talk about it, but I just don't know if I'm going to. This is another one of those videos that I might not post. Um, the way that I was raised, I, I wasn't really happy at all. Um, you know, there'd be many times when even at the bus stop, um, I would be holding my books a certain way, and somebody would say, you know, guys don't hold their books like that, girls do, blah, 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 That right there, I remember that day, that very first time that it happened, and it's, it's terrible. Because I didn't think about it, I didn't know that I was doing anything wrong. I thought I was just holding my books. Now then, even in today's life, um, I have so-called friends that, um, before they knew about me, would make comments like, Oh, you're such a female, you're blah, blah, blah. 
And now since it's out and about, it's like, you guys know why. And all the comments that I, that I heard before everybody knew about me, some of them were really, really hurtful and painful to hear. But those same people never came back to me and said, you know, I didn't know that you were going through that struggle. Um, I didn't really mean anything bad by what I was saying, but, you know, just to, just to at least acknowledge the fact that somebody matters and that it's, that they're still important to you is a real big deal because you had those comments before you knew I was transgender and then now since it's out and you're like, oh, that makes sense. Don't forget that those comments were already said. Um, so they're there. And we can't always forget about bad things like that. Um, I, when I was younger, when I started studying like psychology and everything like that at a very early age, I read this little story about how they explain self-confidence is a balloon. So you blow up the balloon, you have a big amount of air in there, and as you go, you know, you get docked down a little bit, so your balloon, balloon deflates a little bit. Uh, even though you can get more compliments and more confidence and you can, you know, fill the balloon back up. But the only thing is, is that it's harder to fill back up than it is to lose the air. So, somebody like me that's been knocked down all my life, my balloon is not full with much air. So, it's, it's difficult. Because... I've been over backwards for everybody in my life, um, and for me to say who I am and to stand my ground about what I want and my feelings, it's all new to me. Um, just like doing this filming, it's it's all new to me. Like I. I've had hard times being in front of people and talking, and I usually try to avoid it. But this is something I want to do because it's I need to get more comfortable with my future goals. Um, but anyways, the anxiety, the self-confidence plays a big role with anxiety. Um, like I said before, it's you know what they've said before they knew about being transgender and now since they know that you're transgender you know that those bad thoughts were already in place before so you know what what are they thinking now even people that pretend to be friends um, it's hurtful. This is really depressing. I don't know why I'm talking about it. But it's a hard, it's a hard way to go. Um, I guess I haven't really been, I haven't had many people take the time to focus on me and make me feel like I'm important. I always feel like I'm the one that's doing everything else for everybody. So, it's, I get greedy with that, you know, because I'm so not used to having somebody, you know, think highly of me. So when I do hear somebody say something good or anything like that, it means a lot to me. Um, most people, they can get compliments and comments and all that and have no problem. Me, not only do I question if the person was sincere, but 
Also, it means a lot to me. I'm not used to having people being good to me. I'm not used to compliments. I'm not used to people standing beside me. Um, I'm used to everybody leaving. So, just like with the jobs, I've had to jump around the jobs here and there because I would let my guard down with some people. They would either find out about me or I would get upset with myself about letting my guard down around people. So I would leave that job. And then I tell myself when I go to a new job, you know, it's not going to be like that last time. You learned your lesson, blah, blah, blah. That's just not who I am. I, I can't be closed off. I like communicating with people. I like being close to them. I like to be um, helping them. So I like to listen to others' problems. I like to help them find solutions. So it's been really hard with the depression to keep going. And the daily fight of fighting for who you are and anxiety on top of that it's so weird even right now my anxiety is really really bad with going to all these places and working on office equipment because I go in and I'm representing my company and I don't have the best self-confidence like I was saying I get I get scared and worried about things around me and it's it's bad the anxiety is I feel controlling me sometimes um and again this is not something that you just you know just get over it's anxiety it is debilitating it's terrible I mean, although, as my confidence rises with going through this process, my anxiety will go down. But right now, I can't, I can't really fight the anxiety all the time. It's tiring. It really, really takes everything out of you. The depression and the anxiety at the same time is just sometimes too much. Sometimes it's just way too much where I don't get out of bed for a while because I just need to just recover because I'm burning so much energy just because I do have health issues that are ongoing that I'm trying to get corrected. So that's burning up a good amount of my body's en en uh, energy right there. Uh, then you have overexerting myself for the anxiety where you know I'm sweating I'm thinking I'm you know my heart's racing so that takes a good amount of energy from you um going through the puberty with the HRT and everything that takes energy out of you so to just get up and do something sometimes it's it's really really hard it's a challenge but I want to keep moving forward, and um, like I said when I on the last video, I said, you know, when I was 13 is the first time that I expressed how I felt, and that's also the first time that I thought about suicide when I was turned away from how I felt, because I was told that it was just a phase, and um, around that same period of time, I was told some things, said some things too, that made me feel like like I was broken or like I was damaged and ever since then I fight with that I uh, I do um, it's not easy it's I question people's motives now I question my own thoughts my own future that I think about. I I know where I want to be and I know what I want to do. 
but I can't have the same people in my life that I have had because they don't want me to succeed. They want me to be miserable. They want me to be negative. They want me just to sit around and just think so badly about the world. And the world's not really a bad place. There are bad people, yes, but most people are good. They're just trying to live life. You have some that are un not understanding of certain topics and issues, but that they're ignorant on the issues. They're, you know, most people only are interested in what's impacting them or, you know, something that triggers you thought about something. So, it's... You just need to think that we're all here. We all have lives. We all have only this one life. And time flies by. Everybody deserves to be happy. Um, the negativity. You know, I, I've been using cognitive thinking for a while now on changing my views on everything. And, uh, like, my job, I, I complained about my job when realistically, I have a job. You know, and I'm making decent money. I mean, not, you know, okay money. So, it's not bad. There is anxiety, and that's probably, you know, I have anxiety when I go to customers, yes. And that's probably what my negativity towards the job is focused on. But, I'm overcoming it one day at a time, and as I transition further and further, I'm hoping that I'll find that people become more agreeable with my life and um, accepting. I would like to have, you know, steady people in my life. I would like to have a steady future. And me putting so much emphasis on the job and, you know, oh, I'm going to go out and look for another job. Now is not the time for me to do that right now. Um, I have a job. I should be thankful. Um, it's, I would put a lot more stress on myself if I was to, because I've gone on a couple interviews and it's stressful in this situation because fighting with the depression, the anxiety, the struggle of going through the transition and just overall trying to find out exactly who I am. It's a process. Uh, I'm excited that I get to go through this because I get to make who I am. Uh, I don't have to have any outside influences or anything like that. I get to decide who I am. Um, I got to decide on my name. Uh, I was told that somebody close to me told me that they don't like my name, that it's an ugly name, and all I can say to that is, you don't have to live with it. I, uh, I lived as the male name for all my life, up to this point. That's not who I am. So, again, if you don't want to be about about the positive change, about the positive future outlook that I have, then maybe you don't have to be a part of my life. Um, people come and go. There's a lot of people in the world. Um, some are going to dislike you. Some are going to hate you. Some are going to love you. And you're not going to make everybody happy because you can't. There's some people out there that just want to be miserable all the time. That don't want to learn. That don't want to make an effort to go forward. They just want to be where they are and just complain. 
which I know that my I had a video about me complaining about work, but realistically, I shouldn't be doing that either. Um, so that's my thoughts on this great Sunday. That's what I'm plagued with. I don't really have anything else to say. I'm kind of sad now. I do that to myself all the time, it feels like. When realistically, it's... It only takes me a little bit now to get over it, because I just... But anyways, I need to clean. I still haven't found my checkbook or my other hairband, so I went and bought some more. But, yep. Yippers. Anyways, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.